Well, good day, everyone. Hanging out here at Junction City with Terry Smith from Kenai Coach Sales. Got this beautiful beaver marquee. We're gonna let you, Terry, give you a few details about this, Coach. What year, and then uh, about how many miles? It's a 2006 beaver marquee, and it's 88,000 miles on it. And uh, beavers were first made by Beaver in Bend, and then in 93, they went out and Safari took them over, put their Magnum chassis under them instead of the Gillig chassis. And then Monaco bought Safari, and they started building, kept building them in Bend with more shocks and more airbags. And then in 2005, they shut down the Bend factory and made them in Coburg, right alongside the Monaco's and the holiday, high end holiday Ramblers. And that's when they put the semi monocoque chassis under them, as well as 10 shocks and 10 airbags for the best ride of all the beavers that were built. So this is one of the first ones built over at the Monaco plant. Okay, well that's an excellent educational factor, right, Terry. I didn't know the first part of it. I did know about that 2005 part of them. So basically what we're saying to you is if you're needing support still on this fine product, you're just going to get a hold of the Rev Group and they're going to have all the priority, be able to give you part numbers, so on and so forth. They do great support. A good, good friend of mine actually has a Holiday Rambler and he actually got a shore cord door that was already painted the color of his coach in stock at the Colberg location. I was mind boggled. But anyway, before we get off track, we've got this beautiful coach. I want to thank you, Terry, for your time. Is there any other great input you've got about this great beaver? Uh, no other than to say that uh, when my wife and I full-timed in 1997, we bought a 92 Beaver marquee, and that was made uh, by Beaver, it used the Gillig bus chassis back then before they started putting slides in, and the Beaver marquee was known for the wood. Uh, it's better even than the Patriot and the Patriot Thunder because they put a finish on it that really makes the grain stand out. So that's what the Beaver marquee is really known for. Interior, the wood is just absolutely gorgeous as Brian's going to show you in a few minutes. All right, well, thank you very ter much, Terry, for your time. We'll get you started with this beautiful tour. Thanks again. Thank you, Brian. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, so like Terry said, beautiful beaver marquee, very reliable, robust chassis. I mean, they were building Holiday Ramblers. They were building Monaco's, everything on the same production line. Good quality Oregon coach. I thought I'd start out here with these power awnings out for you. So you've got that power over the door awning, and then you even have this power awning over here that uh you could run part way out to do your windows or if it's a nice day it makes a very nice large patio awning it's nice and low one thing about those getting mounted on the roof is they're going to be so high up here in this case i can actually touch the edge but gives me good area gets that good block out area so let's go ahead and i'm going to run these in for you and then we'll give you all a tour of the base All right, everyone, got those power awnings all ran in there for you. 2006 Beaver Marquis, less than 88,000 miles, less than 1,200 hours on the gen. I want to say it was about 1,100 and something. Coming in at 179,000 being the asking price for this coach. Now let's go ahead and we'll get these bay doors open for you. All right, we got those bay doors open. Let's give you a quick tour down the side of this. Here we are. I've got those slide rooms in, so I just give you a good view of that. But be 100% transparent. It does have some checking in these darker colors. It's not really bad. We're gonna find some clear that's peeling in the back up on top of this awning. It is scheduled for paint to get those uh, re-cleared and taken care of. So just wanna be 100% transparent. If you see it in the video, it is gonna be addressed by the time anyone comes to pick this beautiful coach up. It's got that collision avoidance system on it brought to you by Eaton with the Vorad. I'm pretty sure this probably still works. It's got this uh, full pass-through bay here for bay number one. Now you're gonna pull this out and then you're gonna push it in enough just to get it to clear that knob Make sure the door's open all the way, and then you can give this a pull. There it is all the way out. You release this, because this does do a stop halfway and fully extended. And then you run it back in. It's got those dual catches there to be nice and safe, so you don't have to worry about it coming out. In bay two, you're going to have an electric tray, so we'll run that out and in. 
there you go it's got that bad boy in now you see this here this is going to be your emergency rod if you need to get in one of these awnings in you'll see you've got a hole here in the very forward end on this one the rearward end on this one but up inside of there you put that in and start spinning it and that'll manly run those in for you if you've got a uh, problem with those so here we are in the fuel tank got that propane tank also nice large propane tank i'm going to guess well over 40 gallons of propane on this coach i'm going to say probably well over 100 gallons of fuel on this coach got the access right here on the side bay door closed you can simply open that to be able to put some fuel in it another pass-through slide tray here it's going to have those same releases on it again got your ladder for the very back got your aqua hot control board here your knife valves for your tanks now i'm going to be transparent those were electric at one point and someone is coming and put manual valves in there now so he doesn't have to worry about the mechanical system on that got that tag axle drive axle great monaco chassis got those chassis batteries here in the bottom house batteries in the top got your disconnect switches right here um, we've got those disconnect switches for the batteries we'll go back here i do want to cover you've got that magnum inverter mounted in the ceiling transfer switch mounted on that wall got that magnum controller there and then these doors actually slide open to give you more access to such as the water pump the aqua hot and the back side of uh your shore cord reel and stuff like that so nice accessibility that's pretty much being your service baby besides that transfer switch mounted to the wall and then that uh magnum up on the ceiling there let's go back here give you a tour of this now this is a uh, all beaver coaches are going to have caterpillar engines in it so this is going to have a cat c13 five and a quarter horse engine in it nice large access here Got that beautiful stainless. There's that clear I was talking about. It's gonna get repaired. And then you just simply push down on this door. Kind of get a little higher on it. Maybe two hands. At least the struts are good and it's not falling down on me. I'd rather have it hard to close than it hard to open and then have to put some vice grips on there. But there's the back end of this beautiful beaver marquee. Give you a good view of the back side of this bad boy. Now we'll get over here to your uh, driver's side. Gonna have your side mounted radiator, of course, with all your uh, inner cooler there, your transmission cooler there. Plumbing bay here. A little spot to fill up a wash bucket or something here with some hot and cold water. Then you've got your fit wash water fill, water pumps, so on and so forth. As I had mentioned, these were the knife valve switch locations. If you did want to put electric valves back into this coach. And then here's going to be your access to your water manifold. Both your water filters, your shore cord reel, and so on. Way back there in the back is going to be that shore cord. They've got the water reel right there in the front. Close this bay door up here. Got that dirt devil here on the side. Got that stinky slinky just kind of stowed here in this location. I'm pretty sure that is a stinky slinky location there. Got that aqua hot exhaust hanging out there. So that gives you that. Then we've got the other side here. So that propane tank along with that fuel tank. Then you've got the two pass-through bays again and again. Then here you're going to have that front run box with your gen slide switch. I've already got that run out for you, so we'll show you that here in just a second. It's going to be all your fuses for your chassis side, your HWH reset. That's going to be out here on the Monaco's. And then you're going to have a 12.5 generator. To about 1,153 hours on that bad boy. So here's a beautiful view of that front end. We'll go ahead and run that gen slide in for you, give you a view of it all right there got that all ran in nice big large one piece windshield got those rooms brought out for you let's give you all a tour of the inside of this bad boy
All right, so there's your tour of the ceiling. Got those floors. I like the nice neutral colors of the floors. I think it looks like Terry hasn't had these shampooed yet, but in my personal opinion, I think I might have that strip of carpet changed out there. And then maybe even this carpet back here in the bedroom. It does have full tile to the back, but just a nice piece there. And then a redo around this uh, bed deck here. Now that doesn't mean this coach isn't ready to go. I mean, it is. It's a really nice coach. The woodwork is in excellent condition. As Terry and I were talking about outside, you've got that bird's eye inlay there in the very center. Nice high gloss on this stuff. Nice mirror here for when you're getting ready if you're in the bedroom. You've got this nice little toilet room here right by the bedroom. So we'll get started up here in the very front, but I just kind of wanted to cover those couple things in the carpet there. Wanted to be 100% transparent. You've got that nice larger TV back here also, but let's get up to the front here. We'll start over the passenger seat here. We've got that flipped around in this position, so that way you can kind of see you get some more seating in here. You've got this chair you can pull out, get some nice guests over, have some drinks. Nice roomy area. Got that audio video equipment cabinet here. Got that nice Pioneer slim line in there. Got that DVD player Blu-ray. Then up here, you're gonna have your Magnum controller, your awning controls, the Aladdin reset. Gonna have storage across here, and then here, and then even in this side, you're gonna have storage also. Looks like we found some of the beavers that come with this beaver coach. This one, he old boy's getting torn back there. That's a pretty cool little beaver. So, all right, let's go over to here. We got this cabinet over the head here. Got that uh, TV antenna for the local channels there. We'll come down in here to the cockpit area. I am going to be transparent. Somebody's got some electrical tape or something wrapped around here. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't get another steering wheel because I know there's steering wheels actually here in town that you could get a freshie slapped on there. be no problem at all. If you're going to have your HWH and your power gear because it's going to have air leveling plus hydraulic leveling. Got your brake release, some switches there for your operation, your transmission controller. Nice large Pioneer radio. It's been updated too. So that way you can get the uh, Apple CarPlay, all the new modern stuff. Got another backup monitor there, air conditioning controls, and some other switches. So that pretty much covers this cab area. Let's give these seats a quick inspection, you know, because a tiny bit of wear on the side of this seat, but not too bad. A little bit here. I want to say we were talking about 88,000 miles, so really good condition. I mean, this coach has got a lot of good years ahead of itself. Got that IntelliTech lighting system here. Let's give you all a tour of this galley area. All right, there we go. Got the galley drawers open. We will start up here in this uh, kind of the living room area. Got that computer desk here, that chair there, and then that uh, flip out couch there. I'm pretty sure this is going to have an air mattress in it. So it's going to be a hide a bed flips large out here so you can sleep a couple more people. But I've got these cabinets all open up here. Got this nice large coma cabinet. Got this cabinet here. Got the small thing over the top of the uh, microwave, but that actually is held on with a couple South Coast. So it theoretically doesn't come off for easy access, but I bet if you're going into the Washougal Nationals, you could still stash all your beer and alcohol across the top there, slap that back on, and they might not find it during the vehicle inspection. But here at the rearward end of the galley, we've got some more storage there. We got some storage there. Got these drawers all pulled out for you. Got the spot here to be able to store your cooktop covers your sink cover you're gonna have dual sinks dual covers a nice little shallow sink here you're gonna have that propane cooktop here we'll give this a quick open i don't want it to drop down in there take a second so you've got that dual yep yeah, see still drop down in there but you got that dual gagging off propane cooktop let's go ahead and put this back up here there that's the best way to tilt it so you got that gagging off cooktop there it's gonna be two burners I do like on the Monaco's how they went and put this edge right here all the way around. It's nice, you get some beverages or something spilling and you're not on a level surface, kind of gives it a place to catch. Got that clear plexiglass there. Looks like we've got a couple beaver coasters in the beaver, of course. Got some IntelliTech controls for your InstaHot, your Aqua Hot, some of the shades. Nice drawers here, we're gonna have those on a nice bearing slides all the way down. You'll see that here on the rearward end. All these cabinet doors closed up. It looks really nice. We'll get these closed and then we'll do all three of these drawers. So we'll close them all up at once. There we go. So that came out real nice. Got that cabinet there. We'll give you a, here's the dinette. 
Got these cabinets all open over here on the dinette here. Got more storage here in the very center. Pretty cool radius doors. Got that uh, uh, finish there in the cabinet doors. That bird's eye maple, I want to think it is. And then I've got that again. Nice table here. Should extend out and be able to put another leaf in the middle of it. I know that moves around. Some little cool wicker chairs. Some more storage down there across the bottom. And then that computer desk. Nice little spot here. I've got the Intellitech lighting controls located there. Now this coach is going to have all the manuals and everything in it. It's going to be Monaco build number 605-151. So 2006 Beaver Marquee. Got some information here. Ooh, I see some totals, some numbers, some weights. That's what I was looking for. So 110 gallons of fresh water. Looks like uh, 30 gallons of propane on that. Doesn't give me any specs for the weights. Looks like we've got all the Monaco paint codes here on this. Got the tires, the fuel door keys, and so on and so forth. All right, so we've got that stuff there. Now that's going to cover all this living room area with the slides out. So we'll give you a nice view of it before we head back to the back. So there's your driver's side slide room. And there's going to be your passenger side slide room. Let's go back here to the bathroom. We do have this nice whirlpool electric refrigerator and some more storage above it. And that's going to finish out your galley. Apologize for not getting that in the middle. Got some cool elk woodwork here on the wall. Looks like it's even a signed piece from 2001. Now you're going to have a central vac location here in the hall. And have this pocket door with a basic release right here. Give this door a pull. It's got some beautiful woodwork laid into that door. Really nice looking. Nice, heavy, solid door. Nice, smooth action with it. Put that latch back down there, ready to travel. Got a nice linen closet here, we could call this, since it's next to the shower. And then here again, we've got some more storage, some Intellitech lighting switches here. And then you've got that shower there. Nice little spot to put your soaps and what have you. A couple little towel hooks up inside of there, really tall. Let's go over here to the toilet room. So you've got the toilet room here. Got that nice regular old flipper toilet. No turd grinders there. Got that fart fan up there in the ceiling. Then you've got over here a few more lights. Let's go ahead and smash some buttons in here. Get you some lights on. And then we've got this cabinet here. Give it a quick little push and a pull. Nice there, nice finished woodwork on the inside edges of this looks like we got a couple of those led lights out there on the top be no problem but nice tile inlay back here in the backsplash little mirror strip there and then some more panels here now this is going to have your 110 breaker panel up here this is going to be your 50 amp main and then this is everything running off of your inverter so that kind of gives you the uh, toilet room here is the flush button and the add water button so got a nice little window open here. Now we've got a window open because in these coaches, you want to keep the temperature as nice and low as possible with this woodwork. So let's go back here, get into the bedroom. We've got another nice little sink here in the corner. Nice updated TV. Let's open some of these cabinets. Nice storage here. Nice access to the back of the shower valves also. You don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Another one here. Nice shelves inside of there, all carpeted lined, as you can see. Nice little edges here so stuff doesn't fall out at you after you're going down the road. Looks like we've even got some more storage here in this corner. So lots of storage in this toilet room area, his or her, get ready. Got some drawers down here. Nice carpeted bottom again, going to have three of those consistent. Let's give this a pull. Going to have some more storage here. Under this sink, a 110 outlet, you've got those Intellitech switches here, got some more Intellitech switches here, air conditioners, nice full-length mirror for when you're getting ready there. Got four drawers there, a nice storage here, a little window. I'll show you this, get this opened up for you. <clears throat> Pull one of these drawers out for you. Nice carpeted line drawers. Let's do these overheads over the bed. Now those are going to be consistent all the way across. So a nice large overhead over the bed. Got a nice mirror there. Beautiful woodwork. I really like this uh, glass that's in this closet door here. Got the travel lock down here at the base of it. Give it a lift up. The automatic lights. So as soon as you open that, 
Got some engine access there. Got that piece that goes in that dining room table that I was talking about. A nice cubby in here to be able to store some stuff. And then you're going to have all your IntelliTech lighting all here. Going to be your house fuses for most of everything that's in this coach. Because you're going to have your IntelliTech input and output boards there. And a few relays there. And your last fuses that you have for water pumps and whatnot there. So beautiful coach. I really like these Monaco's. I'm really fond of anything really made in Oregon. So do we have a washer dryer? Oh, yeah. Washer dryer. Splendy. All in one. So that's really nice. Looks like we might have a cabinet down here. Nope. That's going to be some South Co latches. If I pulled that off, it'd fall off in my hand. So probably just some accents, accesses back there. We'll push this at the top. Give this a pull. It looks like we got South Co's in there. So more stuff up there across that. Looks like we got a... If it ain't a cat, it's a dog. I'm not going to go with that feeling on my comments. But hey, to each his own little Monaco beaver or beaver right there. Not a Monaco. But so we'll close this door up. It's got some nice latches so that way the slide room doesn't jink it all up. Get those closed up. <clears throat> We've got this slide room here. Nice drawers all the way across the bottom. Let's get all those opened up for you. All right, so now we got those drawers all open for you. Got eight nice large drawers there. Got this nice storage under the TV. Got that newer Samsung TV. Nice large window boxes. Beautiful coats. Let's see if we can shut some of those blinds for you with one of these keypads and give you a show what the bedroom blinds look like. So there's the closed button for that. Gonna have these nice, beautiful blinds, fully powered. That one's all closed up. Got this one all closed up here also. That's gonna have a nice small manual blind for you over at that rearward end. We'll hit the button again, and this should open them all for me, theoretically. As you can see, that is true. That one's opening up, and we got this one opening up now. So, nice, beautiful blinds that are powered, roll up. Everything automatically done there. Beautiful bedroom back here. So I think that's everything. I don't think I missed too much stuff. We do have another fan here for the shower. Got that fan running here in this galley. Try to get some of the heat out of here. But hey, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a great time filming it. I love showing you some more of these coaches that were built in Oregon, especially old uh, Beaver as they worked their way all the way up and through the progressions and everything and until they were done there at the very end of... Uh, the Monaco run. What's funny is I think in 2020, you could buy a Monaco marquee. You think some beaver guys are happy about that? I don't think so. They may be rolling it over in their grave. Comment below what you think of this beautiful coach. I really like it. Give it a thumbs up if you really like that side. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Thanks everyone that has subscribed and going along and I hope we'll get you some more great content. I want to give a big shout out to Terry here at Kenai Coach Sales in Junction City, Oregon. Great fella for letting us come in here and video those coaches for you and show you this great woodwork. But till next time, everyone, hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.